This may look like a sphere, but it is not a sphere. It is the stereographic projection, or some people call it Riemann projection of a sphere. In other words, I took a plane and used this weird mathematical thing to wrap it onto a sphere. It's useful for maps and stuff like this. Either way, I will tell you how to do that. But first, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. More about them at the end of the video. So I have all these nodes that basically what they do, long story short, is they take a plane and they wrap it onto a sphere. And what you can see is if you look closely, this is actually all kind of being projected to the top top, the uh, 001 of the sphere, uh, which is why this thing's open and why if we have a checkerboard, it gets more and more and more dense as we go up here. Uh, let's talk about how to do that. So in Blender, go to geometry nodes, take the cube, make it a geo nodes object and get rid of the geometry because we want a grid to wrap onto the sphere. So here's how we do that. Make a grid and make that grid very, very large because the larger this is, the more we have to wrap or project onto the sphere and add a bunch of geometry. So I'm going to make it 100 by 100, you can see that geometry here. Now to wrap this onto a sphere, it might be useful to actually import in a sphere because then we can cast rays and we can actually visualize what's going on. So here you can see we have a sphere and just so we can actually see what's going on here, I'm going to take my grid and lower it by one unit. This is technically not stereographic projection anymore, but I don't give a fuck. And our goal is to take a point on the grid and this is for any point on the grid and project it towards the sphere, especially in the direction going to the top, 0, 0, 001 and we want to see where this intersects the sphere because this is going to tell us where to send each grid point to the sphere such that each one has a unique individual point. Uh, how do we get this vector, this uh, direction? Well, uh, we know the point or the position of the point uh, on the grid. We have that vector. Uh, we also know which direction we're projecting in. We're going vertically uh, towards 0, 0, 1. Um, in other words, this vector, this thing that we need to send it that way. It is essentially this 0, 0, 001 vector plus or minus the negative of the uh, position vector because you can see it makes this triangle. Let's cast some rays. So you can see I added a ray cast node. What are we casting towards? The sphere and we want to cast in the direction of 0, 0, 001 minus the position, that triangle I drew. This is going to give us the hit position of all these new things. So in other words, we can take our grid now and we want to send or set the position of, since we're sending these points, we want to reassign the position. Uh, we want to set the position to this new hit position. Where is it going to hit? The sphere. And you can see all of a sudden we get this uh, weird sphere looking thing. To get more of a dynamic uh, simulation, by simulation I just mean animation, uh, we are going to mix between this and the position. So our kind of Riemann stereographic projection and our original grid points. And you can see, whoa, this is now uh, doing the stretchy stretch. Again, uh, this works because we're sending it towards a sphere. If we wanted to be fancy schmancy, we could send it, I mean, it wouldn't make much sense, but we could send it towards a cube or we could send it towards any uh, geometry. So this is kind of the generalized Riemann projection, the stereographic projection. And uh, another thing to notice is at the very top of the sphere, it's kind of open, and that's because we ran out of grid uh, to use. So the bigger we make the initial grid, the more it's gonna close the top, as you can see, the more it's gonna close the top of the sphere, but also the lower resolution it's gonna be. Uh, so you need to bump up the resolution as well. And now we have the stereographic Riemann projection. Do you know what's as cool as stereographic projection, if not cooler? Building a website with Squarespace, the best, the most beautiful way to build a website ever imagined. With Squarespace, you can literally just take pieces of text and blocks and images and just kind of rearrange them and build your website without any coding knowledge. My website, www.cgmatter.com, has been made in this fashion with squarespace.com. And there are three features, three, uh, that you might be interested in when you sign up with Squarespace. One, analytics. You can see who is going to your website, demographic type information, so you can kind of gear it towards your audience because you need to know who your audience is. Two, you can embed social media feeds and stuff like this. So Twitter, you don't need to like link to another website. You can embed it directly in your website so that they don't have to go, they being the audience, don't have to go anywhere. And three, you have automatic image cropping and positioning and all this. Basically the idea of Squarespace where you can just take these blocks, put them anywhere. You don't need to worry about HTML code or anything like this. Either way, when you're interested in building a beautiful website and you're ready to use Squarespace, uh, use my link in the description because you can save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain uh, using my coupon code CG Matter. So thanks for watching the Tut Boys.